Okay, I have to do a quickie here. Am I am I recording? Okay, it looks like we're recording. So, I got a interview here with Larry Johnson uh, on uh, the sh on the channel through the eyes of, and she's actually pretty decent. She's just a normal lady from Poland. She does good interviews. She has, I guess, she's made friends with. Uh, you know the Duran, and so she gets to you know have some access to some of these um, interesting uh, people to interview. And here I have to, I have to call this out. Here we, uh, I don't want to, you know, I'm just going to show you the response. But basically, um, the young lady uh, mentioned that you know, in her opinion, the uh, CIA is one of the primary drug traffickers in the world and i just want to uh look at examine his response to that now uh keep in mind that larry johnson uh was a high level analyst in the cia um doesn't mean he would have been privy to any sort of um schemes uh on the part of uh cia officers to uh traffic drugs but let's watch this uh, that, uh, that one, no, I disagree. I because I that okay, was one of the but that was, part that of was one. Of, no. Yeah, that was one of the that was one of the stories that came out of the whole war in Central America, and so he starts out with this tone of um, blowing it off. Okay, so he starts out with that. Uh, you can hear his voice kind of go into this. Well, he's he's forcing the he's forcing this perception of um oh you know this is nothing so i can you know you can hear it in his voice and it doesn't sound natural to me this sounds kind of like forced the way he's trying to denigrate it through the tone so i have actually some particular insight into this so my other business partners my, my consulting group, uh one was uh bobby nievis robert nievis Bobby, before joining, you know, when we linked up with Berg Associates in 1998, prior to that, he was chief of international operations for DEA. And uh, he was the one who set up what was called. And is that supposed to mean something? The Kingpin program to go after the Kingpins in the drug world. Going after the Kingpins on behalf of other Kingpins, perhaps? I mean... Whoever Bobby Nieves is, and I'm not, I don't remember off the top of my head all of the uh, allegations. I know it's very difficult to find uh, Gary Webb's work out there. Uh, why would it be so, why would they go through such great lengths to uh, censor Gary Webb's uh, works, first of all? Uh, but, okay, so he was, so Bobby Nieves was the head of international he was a high level dea guy i would think that would make him more likely to uh get involved in uh corruption but that's just me if uh the the <coughs> reporter uh that did the uh the article about the alleged traffic he's pretending like he doesn't know who gary webb is that the cia was trafficking in cocaine uh out in san diego i forget get the reporter's name in his he blinked right there i'm not a body language expert but i want to let's go back what are we at 4 31 let's go back like 44 let's go back like 13 seconds and look at his look at how he uh tries to act like he doesn't know Gar who gary webb is are you serious you're telling me you were in the cia in the 90s or 80s and 90s and early 2000s, and you don't know who Gary Webb is? Bullshit. Kingpins in the drug world. If uh, the, the the reporter uh, that did the uh, the article about the alleged trafficking, that the CIA was trafficking in cocaine uh, out in San Diego, I forget the reporter's name, in his book. Yeah, sure. You don't remember his name. Bullshit. My friend Bobby. I can look at that. It makes my hair stand up. It just makes my hair stand up. He knows who the reporter is. Like I said, I'm not a scientific body language expert, but I can I can read people pretty well. It's hard for me to pinpoint a lot of times 
what what what's making my hair stand up. But he's trying to say he doesn't know who Gary Webb is, and then the way he says, "I forgot his name." That doesn't seem like he actually forgot his name. Pins in the drug world. If uh, the, the the reporter uh, that did the uh, the article about the alleged trafficking that the CIA was trafficking in cocaine uh, out in San Diego, I forget the reporter's name. That in was an interest. Book. He did like a he did like a uh, multiple blink thing there. I don't know. Maybe a body language expert should get on this, but I don't. I don't buy that he doesn't know the reporter's name. Okay. Look, he identified my friend Bobby. His my friend Bobby. Okay, there you go. So you have a personal vested interest in that. I get you. So Bobby's last name Nieves. In Spanish, the term for snow is nieve, nevar to snow. Well, so this kid, this reporter claimed that Bobby's nickname was Bobby Snow. It was a lie. That was a complete, utter lie. Um, that Bobby... Possibly. Possibly. But that that has... Maybe that maybe that was incorrect. But Blandone was a CIA asset. We know that. We know that. So, whether he got one fact wrong about one particular person in the orbit of this of this scandal that the, that he's going to use that as his as a means to you know to call into question the entire allegation he was helping facilitate uh the the movement of drugs you know i, I, I maybe he was maybe he wasn't known bobby for ugh, over 30 years uh the, the last okay. thing in the world you'd ever see from this guy, from Bobby, is involvement with drug trafficking. He was, uh, you know, as straight as they come. And uh, so were there elements in the Contras in Costa Rica that on their own were involved with drug trafficking? Yes. Were there... Uh, were there people in the CIA that down there at the time in the, in the in the station that could have known about it and may have known about it? Yes, but did the CIA do anything to stop it? No, it was one of those things. Just you know, look look to the side because that was not mm -hmm. what the CIA was doing. The CIA was trying to overthrow. Uh, okay, and then he kind of uh, spills the beans here. So if the CIA did nothing to stop drug trafficking that they knew about it, let's just take his story. If the CIA did nothing to stop the drug trafficking, then they facilitated it. And they facilitated it because the people that were working for them, the Contras, got the special privilege of not being reported by the CIA to the other authorities in the U.S. government. And I think it would be... It would be uh, naive to assume that it would just stop at looking the other way. If these people were working for the CIA, obviously the CIA would probably, in some way, shape, or form, provide a form of protection to them and facilitate, through their inaction or through their active uh, protection of these uh, drug rings, uh, the drug trafficking. So, like I said, this is an interesting, uh, uh this is a very interesting, uh, response by, uh, Larry Johnson. And then he's going to let it stop there. And he's not even going to address the real elephant in the room, which was Karzai, president of Afghanistan's brother, who was one of the biggest drug traffickers, in the world, uh, in Afghanistan before the U.S. came, and then in the world, uh, you know, the invasion of Afghanistan uh, and our um, uh, our alliance with what they called the Northern Alliance, which was the anti-Taliban forces in the beginning of the war, those were all drug traffickers left over from, uh, you know, left over from the 80s and 90s. And our invasion of Afghanistan coincided with an, with a heroin ep epidemic in uh, the mid to late 2000s in places like Chicago and New York. So no, no, Larry Johnson, I, I, I admire your, your, your loyalty to your friends, 
But no, Larry Johnson, this doesn't hold up. Your 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 explanation doesn't hold up. Your denial doesn't hold up. And you really admit it at the end. You say that, uh, uh, well, you know, we did. They didn't do anything about drug traffickers. Okay, so then they provided protect. Then then that that favoritism alone facilitated drug trafficking. If that's all they did, which I highly doubt. I mean, you have the allegations of. Uh, Surrounding Kiki Camarena, I've yet to see any, uh, you know, actual uh, smoke and gun evidence surrounding that. But I think that his denial, while um, while admirable, is uh, rather weak. And I uh, just wanted to put that out there. I thought that was interesting. I am out.